so before we go cook, I need to ask you about theft. Okay. Uh, because you are a number, you are a number one, uh, you are a number one cutlery thief. Uh, so much so that you put there, it, you, you, put it you put it on, you put it on display for the name of your first restaurant. Yeah. So. So you know it's funny. So yeah, stealing spoons was was a bit of my shtick. So he, the <laughs> the funny thing is, is, so it happened because when I was working in Switzerland, I was working with a guy named Cyril in pastries. But he had this perfect <laughs> quenelle spoon. And he would sit there and he'd quenelle the ice cream perfectly off the spoon. Yeah. So I have two days off. I grab a tub of rendered beef fat and his spoon and I bring it home and I practice it because it's basically the same texture. Yeah. Over and over and over again until the quenelle is perfect. Right. Once it's perfect, it's the spoon. Yeah. So I took the spoon. And that just kind of. You stole his spoon. I stole one of his spoons. You supposed to stole one of his spoons. Well, okay. I borrowed it. I just never gave it back to him. Okay. If he wants it, I'll give it back yeah. to him. Yeah. Should he call from Paris right. or wherever he but is. But now what happens is people give me spoons. They send me spoons. Sure. All over the country. So if a guest comes in and wants to steal a spoon from Spoon and Stable, which as you can imagine happens often. It's kind of a theme. Right? Yeah. We actually sell our spoons for $10 and 100% of those proceeds go to Mentor, which is a charity. Yeah. So if you steal from me, you're not only stealing from me. But you're now stealing from a 501c3 charity on top of it. So I hope that, that guilt. I hope you sleep well I hope tonight. that guilt, yeah. guilt helps people yeah. understand where I'm coming from. Yes, yeah. I thefted spoons, but I built a business. Yeah.